Hi. Okay. Today is day 35, and it is officially five weeks in to Body Slums, and today was a weigh-in day. Um, and yesterday I made a video with uh, some of the girls, and Delight said that she was hoping to have more, like, vlog videos. <laughs> Which, when I first started making these videos, I was trying to do more in real time, but do you guys know how hard it is to video in real time and come up with a video that's worth watching? I mean, I'm not saying my videos are worth watching, <laughs> but I feel like, oh my goodness, one time, like two weeks ago, I tried to film going grocery shopping to kind of talk about like what I was buying and like making decisions while I was grocery shopping, and I... <laughs> I thought I was doing great because I was like f doing that thing. My sister does like uh, TikTok where she like films herself cleaning her house and she'll show like just the movement where she's like putting something away, picking something up. It's amazing. Anyway, I was like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be cool. And I tried to do it with putting stuff in my grocery cart. Well, guess what? Guess what, Brianna? I was putting the things in my cart and pressing pause and pause and record, pause and record, pause and record. And I was getting a little stressed because the store started to get a little, by the way, if you ever wonder, I put this Johnson's baby oil on my face and I have been loving it. I feel so, oh, I just feel so good. It's, it's coconut oil, it's Shea and coconut butter oil gel and I feel like, you know what? I feel like myself when I was like a teenage girl living in Florida and I was in the pool on the beach all the time. It just feels so good. And probably for skincare, it's not like great for the sun, but I live in New York State and I'm not on the sun that much. Anyway, so boom. Anyway, grocery store. I'm in the grocery store and I was like putting stuff in and out of the cart and I thought at the end it was going to be this cool little like thing with me taking stuff off the shelf and putting it in my cart. Taking them off. And I had somehow mixed it up and had been pressing record and pause at the opposite times. And so there was just a whole lot of, um, <laughs> a whole lot of me, like, starting to pick something. I don't know. It was the opposite of what I intended. And I was, like, so mad at myself because I was kind of running late. But I was like, I'm doing okay. I'm doing it. It's fine. And then it turned out that I wasn't getting a video on new one. I was just wasting my time. So, I've gone grocery shopping since then, but I was a little discouraged to do that. Where is my hand towel? Hold on. Okay, anyway, but today I thought I would try. So, I'm going to start by showing you my walk, which was so beautiful. Look. Um, last night, Delight sent around a message on our Body Slims chat group and was like, who wants to walk with me at 530 in the morning? And <laughs> I never do. I just, I don't know. I've done it a couple of times and I don't like it. Like, I just, I don't like doing it. But I saw that she was writing that and I am, I hate to miss a party. I literally just... If, if people that I love are going to have fun, I'm, like, really hard-pressed to not go. Anyway, so I said, I'll go. <laughs> and then I was like, I, I feel like, am I going to make myself go and then I'm going to hate it? <sighs> but I, I wasn't sure. When I, but then when I went home last night, I was like, yeah, I will not be getting up with you and going. So I knew that Delight and August and Aurora and Malika, I think, all walked this morning. Or maybe just... I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. I saw their videos. They all did great. And then I got up a little bit later and I went for my walk. And remember I said I was, this is my, I'm going to do a get ready with me for real. This is L'Oreal True Match. I use it as my concealer because I have dark under eye circles from my mother. Um, praise Lord because she's gorgeous. Okay. Anyway, um, I was a little bit discouraged because honestly, I made myself this playlist and this morning before I left, I was very, very excited. I took off, um, I took off 
one song that I felt was just a little bit slow. It was called Spin Back by Swoop and I I usually really like it, but when I went to go walk to it, I felt like the beats per minute were just a little bit slow and it was dragging me down. So it was, you know, Wednesday, it's time for a new week. It was time for a new, new song on my playlist. And so I spent a little bit of time this morning looking for the next song I wanted to put on before I left my walk. I found this song, I love it. I'm gonna put a screenshot right here. I don't even remember the title right now, but it was so good. It's like, I'm so blessed or something. Oh, so good. Anyway, loved it. It really was peppy and I felt like the whole entire time I was taking my walk, I was moving. And you know how I have, I don't know if I said this, but my top time for, um, my top time for my walk has been three miles, just about exactly three miles. Now I'm going to put on this CoverGirl CC BB cream. Um, my top time for my walk has been about three miles in 58 to 60 minutes. Today, when I did my walk, I got 3.14 miles in 62 minutes. And I was impressed with myself. I felt very good. Um, and then I got home and I took the trash out and wrote some messages back and weighed in. And okay, what's your policy about weigh in? If you're on body slims or if you lose weight, what is your policy about getting on and off the scale? Do you, <laughs> do you, do you weigh in in the same clothes every time? Do you weigh in in your birthday suit every time? Do you allow yourself to get on or off the scale? Do you weigh in as soon as you wake up? Do you weigh in after you use the bathroom? Like, what are your deal? Because for me, I feel like I, I feel like my first weight was just in like, I don't know, my pajamas or something. I don't know what I was wearing my very first weigh-in um and the, the next couple weigh-ins I just was like sure I'll just wear whatever the heck I'm wearing I didn't really think about it but then um I don't remember what what week it was I was talking to August and she was like oh no I am not adding any clothing to that to that number <laughs> so I'm like heck if she can do that okay next I'm using this Ellen Tracy I just combine the blush and the bronzer and I just do a little bit of a little, a little tiny bit of contouring and then later I'll go back in with the highlighters just a little tiny bit if I'm feeling glam <laughs> literally it just makes me feel put together just a little bit to go like this I don't know what it is you know what there's this beautiful girl in in the town I used to live in who I, I think she used to wear Mary Kay and literally every time I saw her her makeup just looked <sighs> not super like her name is Catherine. Catherine, if you ever see this, you're gorgeous. Okay, it's not that she was like super glam, but she just wore just a little bit of makeup, especially a little tiny bit of like highlight that I was always like, dang, she just looks gorgeous. And she was a gorgeous person anyway. So that was, you know, but anyway, ever since then, I feel like if I were just the tiny little bit, bit of highlighter and contour, I always feel so much more like, Anyway, so I got this at Marshall's, Ellen Tracy. Oh, it's backwards, but it was really simple. I think I paid like $4 for this because, because, because reasons. Okay, next. The next thing I do, what do I do? Oh, my eyebrows. Okay, my eyebrows are, I always take like um this, and I kind of clean up underneath, but I don't need to do that right now because I don't, I don't like it to be like this thick caterpillar looking thing. And then I try to like bring down in the middle my arch just a tiny bit to kind of emphasize that the arch is a little higher. And I use this Wet n Wild. Um, it's oh no, it's not Wet n Wild. It's Elf Cosmetics. Also, a very cheap brand. Um, Elf Cosmetics Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil. I think it was $3 or $3.50. Um, I, I use it in like, what's the color? Taupe or something, just super light. I know that I have gone through different evolutions of how I like my eyebrows, and I've not really ever landed on a, ah, oh, yes, I love my eyebrows like this. 
and I'm sure in person people have been like, what is she doing with her eyebrows? But also like, listen, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I am a lower, I am a upper lower class girl buying makeup at Walmart and occasionally watching TikToks trying to figure out how to do my eyebrows. If you have some pointers for me, please let me know. Okay, next. So then, I put, oh, I don't have an eyeshadow palette right now that I love. It's this very old Urban Decay giant one that I have that I, I don't love it because it has a lot of metallics in it and I'm really into matte right now. But I like to put a little bit of, where's my makeup brush? I like to put a little bit of a very, um, kind of, not neutral, but natural, natural tone, like a brown or a little bit of a bronze, right in the crease of my eye like this. I don't know if it looks good or not, but one time I saw this tutorial where this girl was like, if you have hooded eyes or if you're over a certain age, you put the color right in your crease like this and it helps you not look so old slash hooded. I don't know. I don't know if it works or not. Then I clean my brush off and just buff it out a whole bunch so that it doesn't look like I have painted a blotch of color in the middle of my eye. Which it actually does. It actually does look that. But you know what? 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 Oh well. I'm in a little bit of a mood today. I think it's because I'm hungry. No, I think it's because I'm excited that I lost a little weight. Okay, so remember that last week I had said I was really wanting last week to be my best week ever? And you know what? Thursday and Friday were great. On fire. On point. I was good. And then Saturday was absolutely lousy 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 and I still don't really know what made it so lousy like I don't know if it was just a combination of all the different stresses that I was dealing with that day but if you watch my video from like about four days ago where it just says like big oof I don't know what my deal was I have no idea and that kind of bothers me because it makes me feel like what is going to happen in the future if I have to go to another social event. Do I just not go to any social events until Body Sims is over? Or until I'm... Next I'm going to use this Milani. Um, it's a Gilded Flora Shadow Stick. It's an eyeshadow. It's just in this like purple. And I'm going to go into my waterline. And then buff it out a little bit to give me just a little bit of like a... Like this? Give me just a little bit of like a dark eye, like that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I've pretty much been doing the same makeup every day for about a year now. And I slightly changed some things up a little tiny bit, but I like to look put together a little bit when I'm going out. It's not that I want to look like full makeup crazy, but... Better. Better than it was. And then I used this double extend by by who? Is it L'Oreal? L'Oreal. It has a primer and then it's a tubing mascara so that if you get wet or if you want to take it off, it comes off in these like little rubber filaments and you can just kind of take them off and they don't like normal mascara, for instance, this Alme, which I just bought because I was in need of something. It makes a smear, like this waxy smear under your eye if you get wet or if you're tired or you touch your eye at all. But this stuff does not ever do that. Never, never, never. You will end up with a little black flake on your cheek sometimes if it comes off. But it just is like a little speck that you can just brush off. Anyway, I feel like when it comes to makeup, I like to wear something because... I really do think that wearing a little bit of makeup as a woman kind of communicates, I care about myself, which being overweight can kind of communicate, I don't care about myself. And so it's nice to have something to equal that out. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. So back to social gatherings. It's funny because I had a social gathering on 
Sunday that I was perfectly fine at, but the social gathering on Saturday I was not okay at. Um, on Saturday, this Saturday, I'm hosting a baby shower and I feel like I could be tempted. Okay, it's funny because like right now at this moment, I'm like, how could I be tempted? I'm doing great. Of course I'm not gonna eat anything. But like, when it actually comes to the day, will it be difficult? I don't know. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about is the fact that even before I went to the party on um, on Saturday, I'm observing now, even before I went to the party, I was stressing about the party. I was thinking, shoot, I don't know if I'm going to do well. I don't know if I'm going to do poorly. I was stressing. I wasn't like, I was, I was, I was not telling myself, this is going to be good. This is going to be fine. I was not like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I wasn't like rehearsing goodness in my mind. I wasn't like mentally saying, yep, we're on track. This is going to be fine. You are, you know, like you have a plan, you know what you're doing. You're going to be great. I was more like going, uh oh, oh no, oh no, what's going to happen? I'm stressing out. Ah. And I'm like, I wonder if that is like 90% of my problem. Just being, just being like kind of anticipating trouble, you know? Yeah. I just now realized that. Probably delight her to do that because she always knows things before me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause now and come back later in my day. Okay, hi, I'm going vertical to show you my outfit now that I'm finally ready. I got this top in Marshalls, just a top with ribbed and these jeans I got at Old Navy, and I love these sandals this summer. I wear them all the time. Um, I don't remember what brand they are, but I got them on sale. And I got my earrings from the Green Moth Collective. It's my friend Elizabeth who makes handmade jewelry. You should look her up on Instagram because they're amazing. Um, I just want to say that these jeans I bought from Old Navy, and they're the first pair of jeans I've had since 2020 because when COVID started, I used to wear a lot of skirts, like a lot of skirts and dresses. And when COVID started, I was like at home and I was like, why would I ever put a pair of jeans on again? And I used to wear like skinny jeans, you know, cause I'm a millennial. But um, at some point I was like, wait a minute, I don't have to wear jeans. I can wear leggings. I wore black leggings and skirts and dresses all the time. And I bought these kind of on impulse when I bought my workout outfit. My which I haven't even really worn to walk because it's like skin tight. But I bought these and I, let's see, I think I got them in February or March, March. And the waistband was so tight. I was like so uncomfortable in them. And I felt like it was like squeezing right here. Like I had a really hard ridge right here. And right now they feel super loose. And also they just came out of the dryer. And this is how loose they are right now. I feel like I'm going to need, look at this. But also I feel like a little bit is the style, you know what I mean, to wear them like super loose. So, what else? I'm going grocery shopping. This is my fit. See you later. So then I went to town and the first thing I went to do was went to Marshall's and let me just say the plus size section is awful and I cannot wait to be in straight sizes. Look at these terrible patterns, barf nuggets. But after I had looked through, I chose two different dresses and I was literally thrilled. I know this doesn't look like much, but honestly, I wore a 2X dress here and it, it fit. I mean, I didn't actually buy it because whatever, I don't actually need it, but I was so thrilled to be wearing a 2X and feeling like, yeah, the 2X's dresses are kind of cute. And I have been like pushing a 4X for a little while. So I was super thrilled to be in a dressing room, feeling good, feeling very happy with myself. Just ran into August. <laughs> Under girls while I'm grocery shopping. Hi! And beautiful cart full of proteins, fresh fruits and veg and salad. I'm feeling good. I only lost a pound this week, but my body is telling me that I'm doing amazing. So I'm like, don't even yeah. care what it says. Yeah. I'm, in, 
I you want to show us the uh so this used to be like this I would have to squeeze it on now it's like loose and I'm tightening it my pants are also falling down guys me too we're gonna have to shit switch pants at some point well no 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 no, no. I'll have to oh my goodness I'm gonna have to donate my pants Anyway, keepers. All right. Bye. Adios. Okay, and then here's my grocery haul. I have soups, produce, veggies. I want to say that I have snacks for not just me and the girls who are on body slims, but also for my husband and son who work every day. And I have to say that one trick that I have is I buy a whole lot of healthy food that I know that I will like and that everybody else will eat, but then I buy foods that are that are not healthy that like they would that the guys would like but I specifically try to always find the snacks that they this is August little girl by the way she's so cute um snacks that they would like that I don't like like those Welch's fruit snacks barf I don't like them at all but they love them so I buy them but I also buy um uh drink mixes and low car low low calorie wraps and a bunch of eggs yeah, just a normal grocery haul. For dinner, I had this chicken and cauliflower soup. I literally cooked a bag of cauliflower and mixed it with a can of chicken soup and chicken and star soup. And I know it doesn't look very appetizing, but it was filling. Then I cooked up a whole bunch of chicken just with seasonings and things to have on hand for whatever. Then I did a bunch of house cleaning and I met with a friend to play music and then I got together to watch the Body Slims video and I colored the whole time. Okay, we just finished the seminar and I'm going to report in because last night I said we were going to report in on what our numbers were. So I'm going to go around person to person and say how much you lost this week, week five. Okay? Right, Malika, you're first. All right, what'd you lose, Milika? Five pounds. Five pounds. Yay. Very nice. Milika had a hot week with hot day every day. Amen, sister. Um, I just went down one. Nice, Giselle. Good job. Three. Three pounds, Aurora. Three. Point Three. Three point four delight. I don't count one, and I'm falling asleep. <laughs> okay, August reminded me to tell you that as a group, in the last five weeks, we've lost ninety nine pounds. Woo! Just us, just us, woohoo! So that was most of my day. Weigh in day 36, I think. 35. Oh my goodness. Um, but I actually didn't tell you how much I actually lost. So here's my final score. I was so happy because honestly, last week I really wanted to lose four pounds and I maybe got on and off the scale several times but I am like so happy with that um my total loss right now is this much which is fantastic and also the thing is I I was already down like three one, two, three, four. I was already down like almost six pounds um before I started body slims from my highest weight which is in January so I'm feeling very good right now I have a very busy next couple of days um just a lot and I'm trying to like remember what I was talking about early in the day which is just rehearsing that it's going to go well it's not going to go bad it's going to be um better than I expect and yeah I'm just pretty happy I was thinking tonight of how thankful I am to be doing this and how you know I I did not expect to be doing this right now. I have been, I have been wanting to lose weight for like my entire life. And I think I had kind of gotten to a place where I had kind of given up on it and thought like, well, this is just who I am. This is, I don't really see any potential that I'm going to find any solution that is going to help at all. And I am just so, tickled that this is like happening to me <laughs> right now because I just didn't really expect it. It feels like a very nice surprise in my life right now. And yeah, that's all. I'm gonna go to bed and 
wake up tomorrow morning and take my walk early because I have a lot to do tomorrow. But I'm really looking forward to my walk and oh, I want to say something else too. Tonight's seminar, um, he was talking about like the chemicals in your body and it was the best seminar yet for me anyway. It was really good. He talked about like how we have to go to good places to get our drugs and I know I talked about that a lot like in the beginning when I first started Body Slums I talked about how I learned that like disordered eating means you're usually going to food for your like feel good chemicals instead of like healthy things and I do really feel like this Body Slums program is like retraining you to get your good good chemicals from healthy things like setting goals and like um having good mental habits and exercise and things like that so yeah it felt really good and I think I'm actually going to listen to it, to it again which I haven't done with the seminar yet but I think I'm going to listen to it again because also we were kind of distracted um just with the group and anyway but that's me it's a long video but we